there, it's Natasha and thank you so much for joining me today. Well, I have a video today which is actually based on one that I did the other day around all of these packaging items which I received in the mail and a couple of parcels that came in the same day and I just got really inspired and thought that there are so many ways that we can just reuse and recycle some of this packaging into art projects, into card making, scrapbooking, art journaling, whatever you are interested in and so I thought that I would create some backgrounds and things and then today we are going to turn some of them into cards but if you want to see how I created some of these backgrounds here is just a quick quick glimpse of how I went about some of them then um, I will link the video down below but it was the video that was released uh, just before this one maybe one or two videos before this one depending on what comes out when um, if you want to see all of the backgrounds I used all of those packaging that you saw at the beginning of the video and I turned them all into really fun resources that are cheap and quick and easy uh, that we can use from recycling the packaging. So these are some of the results that we got from those. This one is one of my favorites. In fact, you can do this with so many different things, but these uh, techniques here are obviously not what we are limited to. This is just some that I created in a video. It just gives you a general quick idea of how we can go about creating some of these things. And of course, um, um, most people these days usually receive parcels or packages. It's more common to get things delivered to your house. And so obviously we want to make the most of the things that are readily available to us. And that, so that is what inspired me to create this video. But anyhow, as I said, these are the backgrounds that we created and we are going to turn some of these into cards today. Now, in the spirit of using things up that we have around us, I have my little pottle here. If you've watched my channel before, this is just my little pottle of spears. I don't like to keep spears and scraps on my desk too much because A, I don't have the space and B, I find that if I leave them, they can get out of control quickly. But I do have all of these flowers that I created. These are using a stencil set, which is one of my favorites because wow, it is easy and easy is what I like. Well, actually it's what I need so that I am able to create things and not get overwhelmed or find that I need too many things to create. So um, I will link the flowers. It's actually just a stencil and a die set and it creates these gorgeous, gorgeous, simple flowers and you can make so many at once, which is what I also really like. Now we are going to be taking this background here that we created with some corrugated cardboard and then I just sprayed on some uh, paint, some acrylic paint onto the cardboard and then stamped it down like a big old stamp and it created this gorgeous easy background. Now these cards today are about kind of quick and easy so these are not going to be complex or um, sort of really really crazy cards. I just want to use up some of the things that I have on my desk but it is as easy as pulling together the packaging uh, backgrounds that we created and that is why I also quite like having a stash of backgrounds. I find that I can pull things in pretty quickly and easily to to put cards together um, and actually I really end up loving both of the cards that we are going to create today. So these stems that I have there for the plants, these are just ones that I put some very simple ink. I think this is mowed lawn and a little bit of rustic wilderness, uh, distress oxides and I just pop them down on a piece of cardstock, just scribble them all over the place and make sure that you have them long enough that you can create your stems and then I just use some long handle scissors to cut some strips and then those are my stems for my flowers. But the leaves also come in the set and it gives some really nice um, variation between the colours here and I can just pop a couple of these on and that creates some really nice interest as well. Everything is pretty much flat. I think the flower heads I did pop up on a little bit of foam tape just to give a tiny bit of dimension. And this is the set here that they came from. So the stencils and the dies, it's very quick and easy. You just line up the stencils, one, two, three. Everything is numbered. Everything's really easy, which as I said, that's how I like it. And if you've watched some videos before, you'll definitely have seen those stencils and dies many times. So these are favorites at the moment. Then I have these rainbow poppies. This is from from Paper Rose um, and they have all of these gorgeous little sentiments. They are very, very colorful and I thought that I could find maybe a purple-ish or a pink-ish one that would go really nicely with this today. It has all different types of sentiments. It has the happy birthday ones. It has uh, just lots of them. It has thank yous. It has everything that you could want for sentiment. So all I'm doing is fussy cutting this out just to look like the little ticket that it is 
and then I can easily pop this down the bottom. It's not a completely perfect 100% match, but I think it works pretty well. I think I end up really liking this one. Now I have put some double-sided tape on the back of my panel here. Then I'm lifting up four little tabs so that I can easily place this down. Make sure I get it in the right place before I pull out the tabs and everything is lined up with a nice even border. I'm just going on a white card base background because my card front that I'm putting on is pretty full on. The purple one, there's a lot of color happening, so I don't need any more there. But I did round the corners with the corner chomper as well, and I think that adds to it. Very, very simple card, and this card came together in, I would say, far less than 10 minutes. And I wasn't even hurrying, I was just, I didn't know what I was doing, I didn't have a plan. And as I said, 10 minutes, and I pretty much had my card ready to go. So I'm going to pop some foam tape on the back of the sentiment as well, just to pop it up just a wee bit. Pop it over the bottom of the flower stems, and then this is card number one, pretty much ready to go. So this is a quick and simple card. That background came to really good use, as did the extra flowers I created earlier. Now, I'm going from the same puddle and using up some extra bits and pieces, but I'm going to use this background that we created using just some scrunched up butcher paper. This has to be one of my most favorite techniques. I did use some Distress Oxide sprays to create the background. This one happens to be Villainous Potion and Tumbled Glass, and I just spray a little bit of each on them, and then I'm able to kind of blot up and down and it gives that gorgeous marbled kind of background technique. Now for whatever reason I was leaning towards using the purple backgrounds for both of these cards today but you certainly most definitely don't have to use those. As I said this is just me using up what I have. Then I also have this little square frame that I created using uh, two different uh, square dies that I just popped through my um, die cutting machine. And then I, since I have these out and they're ready to go, I'm going with the purple theme and I see down the bottom there is the happy birthday but in lots of the different colors. So I decided to cut out the happy in both the kind of light, a medium and a darker purple. And these are just pretty small words which I like. They're still very readable though. And I'm going to cut these out to go along the bottom. This kind of reminds me a little bit of a Polaroid photo, which I could have made it into, but I wanted to use up the scraps that were in my little stash. So you'll see in just a minute where I end up going with this. But I like the little happy, 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 and then I will pop a little birthday down there as well. I was just trying to figure out the design and see if I wanted to go straight across or down on the angle, but I think I like down on the angle a little bit better. Now moving on to creating a bit more of that square up the top. Now I put a little bit of double sided tape around just one of this corner and I have this leaf cut out. This is from the Pink Fresh Studios Curvy Leaves die set. One of my all time favorites. I put it on my list if you have a loved one or you yourself are looking for some gorgeous leaf die cuts uh, for Christmas, then this one would be a really, really good one. I also have this little uh, die cut strip here. This is from the Winter Borders from Spellbinders. Um, I think that's what the set is called. Nonetheless, I will have it linked down below if you are just trying to even check it out. Um, but I have made lots and lots of cards using both of these dies. In fact, lots and lots of cards using both of these. So the, the leaves one actually had some stick it adhesive, uh, double sided adhesive on the back of it. So I was able just to peel that one off so I don't need to add glue there. But very, very simple. This is just a gorgeous little design up in the square up above. And then I'm going to have some words down below the happy, happy, happy birthday. And this just makes for a really quick, easy design uh, using up my spears and using up the backgrounds we created. And I will pop this onto a white card base and it will kind of uh, bring out some of the white that's in the uh, focal points that we've used. So another quick, easy card to create. Of course, I will have everything linked down below. Any of the supplies, if you want to check out what I use, even if you're not interested in purchasing, sometimes you want to see a little bit closer about what you've what uh, the su supplies are that I've used and that if you have something similar in your stash already or if I speak a little bit too quickly and you want to uh, check out what that item was so everything's down there in case you want to double check something uh, I also have a link down there to the buy me a coffee website and that just helps support my channel 
and I release videos every other day for you all which I absolutely love I absolutely love the community that we have created here I get so much joy from card making and creating videos and uh, the community and just talking to everybody and chatting in the comments so thank you so much for those people who leave me comments and thumbs up and things but anyway I look forward to seeing you in the next video thanks bye